Yeah, Mike, Kristen, good evening. While many of our viewers might be getting ready for bed right now, PennDOT crews behind me are just starting their work of pumping floodwaters from the bathtub, which is prone to flooding. This is work that they had to wait to do until the water levels got a bit lower. Right now, we're at the mercy of Mother Nature and those those waters receding before we could start pumping. According to PennDOT, the magic number when you can start pumping the bathtub is 25 feet. As the National Weather Service tells us, the river crested at 29 feet following this week's storms. I've never seen anything like it before. I've worked down here for almost 10 years, and this is the worst that I've ever seen it. It's never been this high. So high that the Gateway Clipper will be out of commission for the Pirates home opener. I feel bad for our fans. I, I feel bad for people who rode the boat. It is a tradition for a lot of people. I hope they come back next week after we, we don't do it for a few days. For now, there's not much to do with the river except gawk at it as trash and debris float by the Point State Park fountain and murky water covers the river walk. But hopefully not for long. We know it's going to be busy, but it's it's an important day for Pittsburgh. It's an important day for the Buckos. So we're going to try our best to hopefully Mother Nature cooperates. Back here outside the bathtub, you could see crews hard at work. You may not be able to see all of their work, but we could see the equipment uh, in the distance starting to pump this water. Now, if things are still precarious tomorrow before game time, PennDOT does have a list of alternate routes you can take. That full list is on our website, WTA.com. Also, as for the Gateway Clipper, while they're hopeful they can get it back and running by the end of the weekend, because of the forecast, water levels are probably still going to be too high for the Gateway Clipper to drop fans off at the Riverwalk uh, in front of PNC Park. So if you have any plans to get by the Gateway Clipper to the game this weekend, you should probably find other ways to get there. We're live downtown tonight. Mike Valenti, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.